If you want to find out how is the life battery on Galaxy Watch, well, let's see it. From the start, I will say it's impressive. I have this uh, this smartwatch fully charged for 24 hours with always on display active. What you see here, it's the always on display and it's impressive. All the time you will see on the screen this information. Basically this watch, this is a watch face. Even we, we have even the seconds here and they are moving as you see here. So the battery life after 24 hours with always on display using this smartwatch with all my notifications, um, I have the brightness um, at uh, level seven. I still have 60% of the battery. That's huge after one day. So with this, I should have another one day and a half uh, with always on display. Basically two days and a half if you use always on display. I forgot to mention GPS, it's off. Everything else it's on on this uh, on this uh, watch, but the GPS it's off. I don't use it, and it's better in this way. So with always on display, you will get two and a half days. Uh, if you turn off the always on display, basically you will get without problems three four days with this watch. Let's see here some uh, some uh, info. 60% uh, battery, we still have battery for one day and a half as you see here, um, the info, one day and a half. And if we enter in power saving mode, we still can use this watch for um, four days. That's crazy, that's impressive. Uh, and uh, if you use this smartwatch only as a watch, you'll have battery for more than 30 days, 20, 25, 30 days, something like this, if you use only the feature to display time. So with 60% battery, now, now 59, I will still use this watch for one day and a half. And keep in mind that I have one day already, uh, so basically two days and a half with always on display with all notifications active and all features with um, brightness at a high level and outside anyway it will uh, increase the brightness level automatically in always on display also as you see here it's a medium usage for notifications phone calls um, and that's it. This is how I use anyway my smartwatch, mainly for notifications and for phone calls. Yes, I speak on this smartwatch because it's a very useful and cool feature to be able to speak on your smartwatch. And it's very interesting when uh, and useful when you do something and you just have this smartwatch on your wrist. So, with the always on display active two days and a half, the battery will uh, will keep you two days and a half. If you turn off the always on display, what you see in this moment here, basically the same watch face uh, when you start your watch, when you click on the screen or move the, uh, the bezel. And with the always on display off, you'll get those four four days without problems so the battery it's in my opinion maybe the best battery on a smartwatch and all of that because of the processor and of the tyson with an android wear anyway uh, the battery it's it's very weak on android wears uh, that operating system it's not very well optimized for uh, for power consumption so what can I say? Be uh, be very careful if you will buy an Android Wear smartwatch. I know it may have some applications. Uh, it may have more applications than Tizen, but you don't take a smartwatch to replace your smartphone. You take a smartwatch 
for notifications and mainly to speak on it because it, believe me it's a fantastic feature to be able to speak on a, on your smartwatch so this is it two days and a half with always on display four days without problems with the always on display off so it's really impressive for uh, for such a tiny smartwatch the best battery even even better with much than the gear s3 with much because after one day i repeat i still have 60 percent and i used the watch uh, uh, i had the always on display and i'm really impressed with this battery thanks for watching please like share subscribe thanks